Okay, question one. The White Sox, will they be the Yankees' biggest challenge this season? I'm saying false, but here's why I'm saying false. I think the Yankees have to worry about getting through the season first, get through the regular season. Could the White Sox somewhere down the line be a team that they have to hurdle? Absolutely. But do you know the team that I'm worried about the most if I'm the Yankees? The Tampa Bay Rays. Yes, they lost Snell. They lost Morton. There are many reasons to doubt them. But here's a little stat for you. In the last two years, when Snell and Morton started games, the Rays won slightly more than 60% of those games. When everyone else started a game, the Rays won slightly more than 60% of those games. And, Nancy, as I knew we were doing this segment last night, I'm watching the Tampa Bay Rays against the Marlins, and it was a game where it looked like the Rays were going to lose and people were doubting them. Joey Wendell, three-run homer, ninth inning, Rays win again. Do not doubt that team. Oh, I know it. What a game. Leads perfectly to the next question. Will two AL East teams make the playoffs? I think you know my answer to yes. this one. It's going to be true because I do think the Yankees are going to win the division, but I absolutely believe that the Rays are going to grab one of those wild cards. I believe the White Sox will get one of those wild cards, too. We'll get to that later, but I do believe that two teams from the East will qualify for the postseason. And I don't want to sleep on the team the Yankees are playing today, the Toronto Blue Jays. These are my predictions. I could be absolutely wrong, but the Blue Jays are going to be a team to be reckoned with in that division, too. People are paying attention. Sounds good. Okay, we're going to take it bigger picture again. Will Mike Trout make the playoffs for the first time since 2014? I'm going with a false. As much as I would love to say true on this question, because I would love to see the biggest and greatest star in baseball on the October stage again, I just don't love that Angels rotation. I love the idea of Otani as a, as a two-way player, but I look at the Angels' starting rotation, and I'm just not sold on that team winning enough games during the regular season to get Trout over that line and get him to the postseason. I actually hope I'm wrong. I think it would be great to see Mike Trout playing games in October, but on this day, I'm going with that as a false. He was so great on opening day. The game-tying single, in comes Otani. He's just fantastic. He's the best player in baseball. I know Mookie Betts is, is right there as well, but it would be great to see Trout get to that point. Jack Curry today is saying, no, it's not happening. <laughs> okay, Jack Curry. Next up, will both New York baseball teams make the playoffs? They will. I've already said that I believe the Yankees are going to be there, and I believe the Mets are going to win their division. I think the Mets had a terrific offseason. We all know about Francisco Lindor, and he can be a franchise-changing player. I think it was very smart of the Mets to get him locked up before the season began. Everyone can smile. That's all Lindor does is smile. You put him at shortstop, you expect that power that he can bring. He's a 40-homer, 40 40-double 40 guy. And then, Nancy, they added McCann behind the plate to give them some stability. Carrasco came over with Lindor. You add him to the rotation. You get a full season of Stroman. And I actually think Edwin Diaz is going to be better for them out of the bullpen. I think the Mets can be the class of the East. Jack, such a tough division. Nationals, Braves. You're going Mets. It is a very tough division. I did think a lot about this one, but I believe that the Mets and the Yankees will both get there. And who knows? Maybe down the line we can talk about replicating what happened in 2000 with the Subway Series. Nancy, I've covered baseball for 30 years. I've never covered a more exciting and engaging World Series than that one. I kind of have to agree. That was incredible. Will the Dodgers represent the National League in the World Series? Well, I just talked about a Subway Series, so now I'm harpooning that by saying, yes, I think the Dodgers are the class of baseball. You look at what they were able to do last season, and then they go ahead and add Trevor Bauer. And what does Trevor Bauer do in his first start for the Dodgers? He throws six no-hit innings. I was watching some of that game last night, too, and he looked dominant. He ended up getting hit in the seventh inning and gave up four runs. But, Nancy, this team is so good that David Price is pitching out of the bullpen for them. I've already mentioned Betts, but in Betts and Bellinger, I think they have two of the best five players in baseball in their outfield alone. So, yes, it would be an upset if the Dodgers aren't there. A little bit of love for the Padres? I think the Padres will get a wild card. And, again, you hope for things in the sport that we cover. I absolutely hope that the Padres make it very difficult for the Dodgers. Tatis is so much fun to watch, and the Padres had a lot of good offseason moves as well. Okay, don't think you're done. That's just round one. How about some playoff predictions now? On the spot, whatever you think. I hate making predictions, but I did it anyway for the purposes of our show. And, Nancy, I've got the 
Yankees winning their division. I've got the White Sox in the Central. I've got the Astros in the West. My wild cards are the Rays and the Twins. In the NL, I've got Mets, Brewers, Dodgers as division winners, Braves and the Padres as the wild cards. Now, I picked a lot of favorites. This is not March Madness. This is not you upset a team as the number 12 seed and, and you move on. You, you're picking the teams that you think can do it across the long haul. So those are the teams that I went with. And again, take that videotape, trash it, never look at those predictions again because I'm only referencing them again, Nancy, if I happen to be right on a few. Too late, Jack. I took a sneaky screenshot. I'm keeping it.